That is not how I sound. <laughs> is that how Andy sounds? All these people trying to mimic me. Type in the comments. That is not. Spot on. Nope. <laughs> nope. Welcome back to Welcome Seeds. Back. Right. Depends on the day. Yeah. Sometimes it's, welcome back. Sometimes it's, welcome, welcome back. back. Yeah, welcome back to Seeds. Seedlings, treelings, saplings. What other kind of lings are there? They probably all abandoned us at this point because yeah. we sound pretty stupid in the beginning. We call them a bunch of weird lings. All right. Alienings. Those of you who are trying to do this thing right, lings. Right, lings. I love it. Let's do right lings. Right lings. All right. Uh, you ready? Yes. All right. So let's listen. Let's do it. The problem with uh, doing these videos, one of the problems with doing these videos is that People don't understand that a lot of times these videos are made because we've done other videos off of other videos. And we yeah. just, we get to sit down here on a day and just, we get to be a Bounce part around. of this really cool thing, right? When, when Drash Ministries is running well and right, it's just the feed off of things, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. We have conversation and we're like, ah, let's make a video of that. Like, this is literally how it works. Sometimes people come in with preconceived ideas, mm -hmm. but most of the time it's just like, hey, here's what happens, right? So we were we were talking about all kinds of things this morning and you suggested something that now has me captivated. Right? Nah. Actually, you've done a whole bunch of things that have gotten people captivated, right? And so we might be doing, you know, another five shirt seats thing here, <laughs> right? But uh, you suggested this, uh, this idea of names, right? Naming, naming things. Right, so so God has the same heart that you have because He names moments, He names people, right? He names things. It was very important for Him to say to Adam, "Hey, name the animals, mm -hmm. right? Name creation." God is really big into name. We know the names of God, right? Mm -hmm. So walk me through this whole thing because again, I think there are people who have memorial moments. Right, mm -hmm. and what we name those moments matter. We're giving up on the anniversary of 9 11. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why it's 9 11 because it happened on 9 11. Like, it's a fitting memorial. We haven't made it some you know twin tower memorial type of thing. We've named it something that was appropriate. Everybody knows when you say 9 11, everybody knows. Everybody knows that there's a memorial on that day, right? Even younger kids are taught about hey, this is what happened on 9 11, right? So you brought up this whole idea about naming things, right? What do you mean by that? What's the significance of it to you? What's God doing when he does that? You know, it's kind of funny because hmm, I don't even know. But this morning I was reading, uh, I'm reading through Genesis again, mm -hmm. and I it caught me. I was reading about Jacob and Esau and when uh, when Jacob... You know, put the fur on his arms yeah. and, and stole again mm -hmm. um, the blessing from from his brother, and how mad Esau was, right? And he said he was going to kill him. Yeah. But before that, he said that I forget how exactly it was phrased, but he said that he was worthy of his name. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, <coughs> it's just funny, right? Because Jacob is heel grabber, supplanter, right? Like that's what that name means because, you know, we've you know, been talking about that lately with some other names that mean that. And it's just, I was like, isn't it funny that they knew what his name meant? Yeah. Like they knew what, they all knew what their names meant. Yeah. Like, and a lot of times in the Bible, like it, they say, I'm going to name you this because of this. I'm going to name this place this because this happened here. I'm going to name this this because of this. There's not just like, well, I like the word. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, it's so interesting. Like, they knew ahead of time what they named him, right? Like, yeah, exactly. That, that, and it was like after that, right, when he ran away, that God changed his name mm -hmm. to Israel. But I, I don't know, it just caught me. Like, names super matter um, to God. And it's... I think when we name things, we need to be very prayerful about it, right? Mm -hmm. Like we need to make sure um, that it's about God and what God's story is and what God's will is and what God's plan is, not what ours is or what we want. Mm -hmm. Or, I mean, do you want to name your kid heel grabber supplanter? Do you want to name your kid that? Is that what you want your kid to be? <laughs> and then wonder when it happens. Yeah, like 
I mean, I guess some people put weird names on people like that on purpose that they they want them to be messed up. But like, uh, they gave. I mean, we talked about Hosea. His his kids' names were very it's bad. Yeah, yes, very and they deliberate. were very not nice because uh, it was about like. Israel being a whore. Yeah. So, like, the names represented that. These are whore children you're going to have, and you're going to name them whore names. Yep. It's like, what? So, like, I, I don't know. Names are very important. God, When God labels something, mm-hmm. when God gives you a position and a name and a mark, it's, it's important, right? Like, it, it means something. So, to me, it's it matters. Words matter. Mm-hmm. So now, <clears throat> Jacob, the story of Jacob that you're saying. Yeah. Jacob got his name changed. He did. Right? So that it goes from Jacob to Israel, and, and, and that's how we hear about him in the rest of the mm-hmm. Bible, right? But God specifically changed his name. Mm-hmm. Why, why would God change people's names? And should we ask for that? Um, I think maybe you, maybe you should ask for it. I think you should know what your name means. I think God didn't change his name because it was wrong. Mm-hmm. He was a heel grabber. Right. He stole from his brother twice, right? He tricked him. He was okay with like, oh, yeah, my mom said so. But he lied to his dad multiple times. Like he said, you are my son Esau. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep. You know, like, yep. you know, why is this? Why is that? Well, you know, like he put he put the clothes on so he smelled like him. He knew exactly what he was doing. Yeah. He wasn't just like, you know, doing the tricky thing like with the food, right? With Esau, he was lying. He was flat out lying. And it's just so interesting to see how God like literally went from that to like, well, you know, my bloodline's through you. Yeah. Like it, th- there was no, there was no varying on God's part. Like he, he, he didn't say, well, yeah, you lost the promise and you lost all these things. And yeah. And he changed his name. Like it was, I think if we know what our name means and it's something like that, I think we just need to be conscious Mm -hmm. of what it means. Because like I've been talking about this upside down thing, right? Like the enemy knows what your name means, whether you do or not. So the enemy knows, you know, there's two sides to everything. There's the light Mm -hmm. side and the dark side. So he is going to, for your whole life from the very beginning, he is going to try to bring out the dark side of your name, yep. whatever your name means, right? Mm-hmm. Like I, I have a, I have a friend whose name means noble and truth teller and all these things, and before that person was really saved, they were a liar. Mm-hmm. They lied a lot, like mm-hmm. a lot about every little thing, and it's like, what the heck? Well, the enemy knew from birth their name meant noble and truth teller, so that's like the God path for that person. So the enemy funny enough made them a liar mm. like that's not a coincidence nope not at all and yeah. that's like you need to know like you need to be able to watch those things because the enemy's watching all those things the enemy knows how God works and what's important to him and we don't so a lot of people think that their parents just haphazardly picked out their name or liked the video game or liked the TV show or liked it whatever yeah but I, we would encourage people to to really look at the meaning of their name wouldn't we yeah and it's not it, it might look haphazard, like, oh, I have this TV show that's my favorite right now, and I'm going to name my kid after it. But there is something inside of that person saying, name your kid this. Yeah. So even if it's not like, well, I studied this book, and I came up with this name because I wanted this meaning, like, something clicked in your mind and said, use this character in this show. Mm-hmm. Something inspired you yeah. to name your kid. Oh, I love summer. It's my favorite season. I'm going to name my kid that. Well, Okay. But there's a reason that you were you love something so much that you made it the name of your child. So like, you might think it's haphazard, but it's not. It's it's either God or the enemy inspiring you to choose a name. So yeah, I think you should know what your name means because I think it is is tied to your destiny or your walk in a way. Yeah. Well, the angel Gabriel told Mary what to name Jesus, right? And he, they, God picked out the name of his son and said, here, Mary, by the way, his name's going to be Jesus. Yeah. Right? Uh, that's important. It tells us that God cares yeah. about that. Right? God gave Adam and Eve their names. He didn't just say, hey, mm-hmm. pick out a name you might like. Well, and do you know what the negative, the negative side of the name Mary is? What? Rebel. Yeah. Or rebellion. There you go. So could you imagine if the enemy... Mm-hmm inspired Mary to rebel and tell God no. 
Yeah. Wouldn't have been the first time in history, would it? Have? But isn't that crazy? Yeah. That her name me- means that mm-hmm. on the negative side. Yep. And if that's what she did, there'd be no Jesus. Yeah. Well, right. there would, but God would have used someone else, right? Sure. But like, isn't, that's just so mind-blowing to me. See, and I, I think that that's what we want to tell our listeners, right? Mm-hmm. We want to tell them, listen, we're, we're not overstating this. This isn't a goofy seed. Started off maybe a little bit goofy. <laughs> I was joking around. But this has actually been pretty serious seeds. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're serious about names, right? We're serious about being intentional, right? Not just about naming your kids, or naming, but those big memorial moments. What are, you, what are you naming? What do you remember things by? Do you remember mm-hmm. them by a story or do you have a name for that story? Yeah. Right? This is the day where God changed my life. That's worthy of a name. Right? This is when God gave me my calling, when God gave me my ministry, when God, name it, right? Mm-hmm. Name it because then when people ask you, why, why do you name it that? Why do you call this day this? Then you can tell the story. Yeah. Right? Lots of people don't want to listen to a story until they are intrigued by why the story is. Mm-hmm. Right? So sometimes it's, it's like your name. People always want to know, why are you named Summer? Why did your mom name you Summer? right mm-hmm. that's an instant way for you to be able to share you get an in with people right? yeah why, why why do you call this day this why do you call this moment this why did you name your kids this all of that stuff matters and god is very intentional about it we should probably be intentional as well mm-hmm. absolutely perfect i think this is where you wrap it up all right seedlings uh be be prayerful and intentional of your names uh, your memorials, all the things in the Bible, they built a memorial, stacked stones, however you want to call it, right? They built memorials for everything. They wanted to remember things. God wanted them to remember the things that he did, and they named them. And there was always a reason for the names. The names are always explained in the Bible. Yeah. Um, and they came from God. The names came from God. So whether you think you're naming it uh, in a prayerful way or not, the name means something. And someday someone's going to look it up, and it's, it's going to be... Uh, revealed what you're naming something so be prayerful be cautious and be intentional and look up your name while you're at it just for fun we love you guys we'll see you next week